Hey guys, I'm Level 1 Online. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most unique retro Pi builds out there. This is the 32 gigabyte Dynamo Elite from the Dynamic Duo, currently hosted on arcadepunks.com. What makes this build interesting is the way Emulation Station is set up. As you can see on the left hand side you have the game system. On the right hand side you have a game list. As soon as you enter the game list you will see the artwork takes up the full screen and then a good majority of it is the video snap. And then from there with the up and down arrow you can navigate to the next game. One thing I have noticed about this interface is that it is a little slow going from system to system. In this video I'm going to show you how to optimize it, get it running a little bit faster. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, I'll be right back. Alright, so first thing we need to do, we're going to need to get in front of our computer. We need to make sure that it is properly networked to our Raspberry Pi. Now, on the bottom left of our computer screen in Windows 10, there should be a folder. This is our file explorer. Along the left hand side, find your network. Right here, your RetroPie should be showing. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. If you run into the issue where this is not showing up, what you need to do, you need to hit your start button, you need to go to your control panel. Right here I've created a shortcut. If it's not there, you can just go to search and you can type in control panel right here. Now on this screen, you can go to programs and features. Turn Windows features on and off. Click on that. We need to scroll down to right here where it says SMB 1.0. All you got to do is uncheck it, hit OK restart your computer come back check it reinstall it and then do a restart to your computer and then at that point it should start popping up if it does not work we have another way we have a program called win scp under host name you can either type in retropie or you can manually type in the ip address the way to fetch your ip address is pretty simple you just go right here to options right here where it says show ip and on this setup it is 192.168.1.11 so we can type that in our username is pi password is raspberry we need to navigate and get to our theme it's really easy you just start with root here at the top you go here to OPT you go here to retro pi configs all emulation station themes Right here is our Dynamo Elite. You can just right click on that. You can hit download. And we're going to download that to our desktop. Alternatively, if you have it listed in your network, you can just go to RetroPie. You can go to configs, all, emulation station, themes, and there it is right there. And you can just right click on that, hit copy. And copy it to your desktop. So let's do a brief examination of how this theme is structured. If we go right here into Arcade, we have an XML file here, we have a subfolder right here, and right here is our background. Right here is our system icon. Now if we take a look on the right hand side, you see right here the dimensions, 1080 by 260. You got to think to yourself, does this really need to be that wide and that high of a resolution? Right here on the right hand side, when you click on this, you can see where it says 1920 by 1080. Now this actually fills up the entire screen, so that's okay, but still we can maybe downsample this a little bit look at the size of this 484 kilobytes when it comes to background images I recommend keeping it under a hundred kilobytes so there's various programs out there that can allow you to resize it for example within Windows 
you can go right here and there is a built-in editing program and we what I want to recommend is a way a batch way of doing this a way to do this all at once so I have a program installed the name of that program is called GIMP it is a free program all you gotta do is do a Google search and download the latest version let's double click on that to open it so at the top left when you hit file I have a plugin installed batch image manipulation so I'll tell you what let's exit out of this and I'm gonna show you how to install that so we need to open up a browser window let's go to Google just type in GIMP batch image manipulation hit enter and it is a program called BIMP we click on it right there right here it says installer for Windows and shout outs to the person who took the time to make this this for me was honestly a lifesaver you just click on that on the bottom left you're gonna see it's an exe file you just double click on it make sure your GIMP program is closed while you do this setup just follow all the directions in the setup and then at that point you load up your GIMP and it will be an option available so right here we hit batch image manipulation and it's going to launch the plugin so right here at the top left it says manipulation set these are like the set of commands so let's hit add what we want to do what I recommend is a resize so right here we're going to hit resize we're going to select this right here set to a percentage of the original preserve aspect ratio go down here we're gonna type in 66.66 right here we're gonna keep that to 66.66 hit OK we're going to do another add we're going to do change format and compression we're going to set this to uh, P PNG compression keep it to 9 advanced parameters all of this I believe you can just remove this so output folder so let's create a folder let's call this dynamo 2 let's hit OK keep folder hierarchy let's check that add images let's go ahead and add the images add single images add folders add all open image let's hit add folders dynamo elite let's hit a control a let's hit add files from the whole hierarchy hit add then at this point you should be ready to go hit apply you can see down here at the bottom it's telling you the progress if you go to the dynamo 2 folder you can see it's currently being built one by one so once that finishes it'll say end all files have been processed with zero errors let's go ahead and click close to that at this point let's go back to our desktop and let's check our folders just go right here to dynamo 2 let's open that up and let's check our arcade let's go in here let's change this to details so now as we can see the size of it is now half the size uh, 243 kilobytes the resolution is 1280 by 720 and it still looks decent you can even take this a step further and you can maybe instead of like 66 percent you can maybe go like 50 percent so now once that's finished and you want to make sure it's the way you like it you can just highlight all of this hit copy go back to your original folder and just overwrite everything hit paste it's going to say replace all the, the files in the destination just go ahead and hit yes all right so at this point here's your dynamo elite folder you can just copy this or actually you can just rename it since we're done with this folder 
let's just delete this. And let's give this a unique name. Let's rename this to Dynamo Elite 2. And then let's go back and drop it back in there. And I'll show you how to use that theme. So Emulation Station, Themes. Let's drop it in there, Paste. All we need to do is hit Start. UI Settings. Theme set, just hit Dynamo Elite 2. Hit the back button. Give it a second for it to take effect. So at this point, the scrolling is way smoother in my opinion. It feels so much nicer. And the image quality, it did take a little bit of a hit, but I'm okay with that. So now let's jump into a system. Let's take Super Nintendo for example, and let's see if we can get this to scroll faster. Alright, so what we need to do is go back to our network, go to RetroPie, go to ROMs, we go to SNES, which is right here. So all of our box art, look how large these files are. These are over one megabyte. This is, in my opinion, as, as an image maker, this is just a cardinal sin in my opinion too big this for example this is 385 that's not too bad but when you got something over one megabyte that's way too much when it comes to uh, for the future with Raspberry Pi 4 the fact that it's gonna have a faster processor more RAM this theme will work beautifully in my opinion I, I'm projecting that that you won't need to make these kind of optimizations to the Raspberry Pi 4 so let's go ahead, let's grab this box R folder, let's hit copy. Let's bring it over to our desktop, let's hit paste. Alright, let's create a new file, a new working folder, or a new working folder, let's just call it box R2. Let's go back to GIMP, hit file, hit batch image manipulation. Output folder, desktop, let's do box art 2, hit OK. Resize here, let's do. For this one, let's just do a 50%. Hit OK. Format and compression, let me check the format of this. These box R files are in PNG, okay. So let's keep it as PNG. Let's undo all of this. Hit okay. Keep folder hierarchy. Add images, add folders. Desktop, box R. Make sure this is checked right here. Add files from the whole I. A hierarchy hit add let's go ahead and hit apply so as you can see it already produced the first file chrono trigger on the right hand side we see it's 960 by 540 uh, it's 508 kilobytes the size is currently halved alright so once all 25 games are done just hit close so just inspect them to make sure they are the way you want them. At this point, just select all of them. You can hit copy. Go back to RetroPie, ROMs. Go to your SNES folder. Box art. Just paste. Let it overwrite everything. Let's switch back to our RetroPie. At this point, just hit start, quit, restart emulation station. We need to reload these files. So now look how fast that's scrolling. Let's head on over to SNES now. And let's see how fast this scrolls. Two. 
So it is, in my opinion, going slightly faster, not too noticeable. I think the next factor would be maybe slimming down the video, those video snaps. And I'll show you an idea. Let's say I'm going to delete the video snaps. So all I did was disable, I'm sorry, I renamed the snap folder to snap2. So the XML file gets mixed up and yeah. So at that point, it would just be a matter of getting more optimal uh, video snap files. And that's something that can be done on another video. But yeah, I'm level one online. And like I said, this is just my recommendation. If you want to get this going a little bit faster, you will sacrifice a little bit of the qu image quality. But I say it's worth it because this is, like I said, one of the best images out there. And I did notice a crazy, crazy video on BitChute. This guy was ranting for about a half an hour about this image. Now, to that guy, you know who you are. I'm going to give you a recommendation. When you use this theme, when you're on this screen, all right, all you got to do is you got to look at the game, right? So let's say right here, you want Golden Axe, right? So in your mind, you want Golden Axe. You go in here. You just hit the select button where it says jump to, just go to the letter G. And then hit the down arrow and there's your golden axe. Because this guy was just complaining that he had to go through every single game to get to something, let's say on the far end, let's say like Shinobi. Right, so he's right here at the beginning on the H's. And because the theme went so slow, it took him forever to get to something like Shinobi. But anyways, with these little optimizations that I recommended, I think it's going to be a lot easier for you guys. I'm level 1 online. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe. You guys have a good one. Take care.